Mattel has granted us the pleasure of getting yet another Thomas Phil Racing Legend in 2021. This is the fifth, believe it or not. We went Floyd Morgan, Caleb Worley, Ducky Fauntleroy, Joe Don Jackson, Clovis Ryder, and now here we are at Jimmy Lugwrench. And we still have one yet to go in Dewey Conrad. So very exciting year for tractors and even the Thomasville racers. I mean, Mattel just really hit it home in those two categories. But I really like this guy. You know, they don't usually do like all white cars. Like it's a very rare color to see. And it's unique. It stands out. I like it. I'm excited to open him up. And yeah, he obviously came out of 2021 Singles Case J, which I just unboxed. So I'll leave that link to it in the description below in card suggestion pop-up if you want to check it out. Like I've said before, it's a pretty good case. We got three new cars and some other good re-releases as well. Now, unfortunately, this guy is inaccurate to the movie. We will show you know where he appeared later, of course, but I just want to show you or tell you guys now so you remember it for later. But I think it's more of Pixar's fault because they obviously sent Mattel this artwork and it shows him being all white. And they even really didn't do that great a job of making him all white because he's kind of like a creamy beige. But regardless, this art is wrong because this part of him, like the top, roof and all that is a different color in the movie and so i'll show you guys that later but i don't know just kind of upsetting and also the grill here you can see that he has this grill but they give him the same grill as joe don jackson probably just out of laziness because they don't want to have to you know make a entirely new casting just for that grill so yeah in those regards he is a little disappointing but again i still really like him Obviously new for 2021, Desert Horizon background, metal. We know all these cars have been metal since 2006. And you're just gonna start telling us now, Mattel, really? Anyways, as seen in Cars 3, same exact background that we've had for many cases now. It's kind of getting frustrating that they aren't like refreshing this with the new cars, but it is what it is. Obviously, Pam Wheeldaro, Fusing Tractor, Racing, or Hot Rod Louise Nash, and Muddy Rusty's Racing Center McQueen. These four initially came out in case G, and those are the newest ones. These two are E, and that one's D. So it is kind of upsetting that they are not putting the new stuff on the back that actually will be in stores concurrently with what I'm finding. Either way, though, I'll be right back with him all opened up. Here is Jim Boy out of the package, looking pretty good. Not gonna say stunning or anything like that. I like the color, like it stands out, but I'm frustrated with the inaccuracies here. So there he is in the movie. There's the front view, shows the grill and all that. And there's the side view, and you can clearly see his roof here. Like this part is meant to be a minty green, almost the same color as Floyd Morgan. I'd say a little like darker, a little more faded, not as vibrant as this here. But yeah, that would have been really cool because then it would have been white plus the mint green, which you know would have looked pretty nice, although he would have then almost had the exact same color scheme as Floyd. So it's kind of like a give or take. I would always prefer accuracy though, but he does stand out a little bit more with just being white and red here. I like it. And now that we're past the inaccuracies, I'm just going to you know take him for what he is. I like the expression a lot. I don't know, it's really not that different from Joe Don Jackson's, but it looks a million times better. And I think it is the fact that the eyes are just bigger. Like it's That's easy, like that's all it is. I don't like Joe Don Jackson's eyes at all. They really aren't even that much bigger, but yeah. I don't know, they look grainier on Joe Don Jackson. Maybe it's because like the tongue blends in with the mouth. I don't even think it has to do that much with the mouth, but Jimmy looks so much better, even though their expressions are basically the exact same. So yeah, kind of odd there, but I don't know. They are obviously the same exact model in every way, shape, or form. Just repaints. Thankfully, though, they have different license plates. But besides that, different rims. Well, actually, huh. <laughs> it's kind of funny. So this black part's obviously... Like, a vinyl roof and it's plastic. This here is just, you know, a metal roof. It's like literally, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's metal. 
this part's metal. So then that would actually render it a different model. That's so odd. Like you're basically, I'm trying to say that this part here is a different piece because it's plastic, whereas the brown part's metal. And then here, all of the white is metal, like die cast metal. So it is a different model. <laughs> that literally makes no sense at all. They could have just continued to use the same exact model and then painted it the green that we were talking about. Grills still would have been inaccurate though. Hmm. I don't know, whatever. Like I said, we're gonna get past the inaccuracies. I do like the red, like, I don't know what these are because they're not headlights, right? They're like bolted circles on top of the headlights, but I like them. They look really cool. And he's got some nice details, some decals, and they are pretty clear, pretty gosh darn clear. And we're gonna start at the front here. You have arrow and then whatever it says in the center there, I really can't read it. Let's see if I could read it up to my face. Oh, it says around the clock. Okay, that took a while. Around the clock. And then it looks like it's 11 o'clock. <laughs> nice. Trucking and shipping, cool. So it's a trucking and shipping company that operates around the clock. Number 26, Grandel Oil Company. We've seen that brand on a few other racers at this point now. So that's nothing new. Although the Arrow one, I'm pretty sure we haven't seen at all. Sunset Lake, North Carolina is where he's from. He's got his signature there on the roof edges, looking good. I like how 26 is just like in the corner here. It's small and it's subtle. Deviates from almost every single other racer we've gotten from this era where they just have a massive roof number. I mean, all these guys, they just flaunt it. Joe Don, or Jet Robinson has it in the corner there, but this one looks really cool, just being subtle. I like that actually a lot. On the back here, he doesn't flaunt it back here though. 26 Grandel Oil Company and his license plate is J0410K. So whoever's birthday is April 10th and JK initials. I don't know who that would be, but probably somebody who works at Mattel. I think it's Mattel employees, not Pixar, because Pixar doesn't determine these license plates. They never animate them. So they really, this is kind of a very similar layout to Jet Robinson, you know, having the number in the corner there and then having it big on the trunk. Interesting. Tail lights, plastic bumper and front bumper and back bumper. He's got this gray stripe on the bottom. Besides the exact same. Nothing on the hood there. See when he was made. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, there it is. I was like, no way he doesn't have a date stamp. There it is. P16A. 16th week of 2021 at the A factory. <laughs> Almost thought I got some sort of glitch there. That's a glitch. Yeah, because everything should have a you know, stamp like that. I almost didn't find it there, but I think I was just being silly. Anyways, here is Louise Nash compared to him. They are similar models, but obviously different. Louise Nash is a Nash ambassador, whereas Joe Dunn Jackson and Jimmy Lugrens are just fictional models. Probably inspired by something in real life, though. Yeah, I really like Jimmy. Really do. His name's been floating around for years, guys. Like, literally... His name has been around for longer than Cars 3 itself. When Take 5 Day initially leaked the like entire initial Cars 3 diecast line in September of 2016, and I did a video on it, his name was on the list and he never got released. And then there was a bunch of theorizing that he was actually Eli Turnpike. I don't know really where that came from. I think it had to do with some Walmart listing and some UPCs or whatever, but yeah, everyone thought he was Eli Turnpike and we thought Eli Turnpike was actually supposed to be released as a single this year and and just out of nowhere Jimmy Lugren showed up. So I don't even know what happened there, but either way, I'm happy to get a new release. Glad Eli was not re-released, although it wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world. Yeah, let me know your guys' favorite retro car in the description or comments below. Mine is still Ducky Fauntleroy back here, but this guy probably will sneak his way into the top five for me when it's all said and done. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Bye now.